Kishi was conceived Nobusuk set in Tabas, Yamaguchi Prefecture, the child of a purpose brewer from a once celebrated samurai family that had as of late fallen on hard times his more established sibling, Ichirir Set would proceed to turn into a bad habit chief naval officer in the majestic Japanese naval force, and his more youthful sibling, Isaku Set, would likewise proceed to turn into a state leader. Nobusuke went to a primary school and center school in Okama, and afterward moved to one more center school in Yamaguchi. At the point when he was going to move on from center school, Nobusuke was embraced by his dad's more established sibling, Nobuyamasa Kishi, taking on their family name the Kishi family missing the mark on male beneficiary. So they took on Nobusuke to proceed with the family line Kishi breezed through the very troublesome placement test to enter first secondary school in Tokyo, the most lofty secondary school in the nation and afterward went to Tokyo Majestic College, presently the College of Tokyo, where he moved on from the personnel of regulation in 1920 at the highest point of his group and with the most noteworthy grades in the college's history while at the college. Kishi turned into a protege of the traditional legitimate researcher Shinkiki Osuji because he concentrated on German regulation under Osuji. Kishi's perspectives inclined toward German-style statism, contrasted with the more moderate methodologies leaned toward by a portion of his cohorts who concentrated on English regulation. Upon graduation, Kishi entered the service of business and industry. This was a strange decision, in light of the fact that at that point, the most splendid hopeful civil servants ordinarily tried to enter the home service and in the end gain arrangement as a prefectural-led representative. A portion of Kishi's tutors even censured his choice however. Kishi was uninterested in regulatory work and planned to be straightforwardly engaged with Japan's financial turn of events. In 1926-27, Kishi went all over the planet to concentrate on industry and modern approach in different industrialized states all over the planet, like the US, Germany, and the Soviet Association. Other than the five-year plan, which left Kishi with a fixation on monetary preparation, Kishi was likewise extraordinarily dazzled with the work the executive's speculations of Frederick Winslow Taylor in the US the German approach of modern cartels and the high status of German mechanical designers inside the German business world. Kishi became known as one of the more conspicuous individuals from a gathering of change civil servants inside the Japanese government who leaned toward a statist model of financial improvement with the state directing and coordinating the economy. In February 1957, Kishi became state head following the renunciation of the debilitated Tansen Ishibashi. His primary worries were with international strategy, particularly with re-examining the 1952 U.S.-Japan security settlement, which he felt had transformed Japan into a virtual American protectorate. Changing the security settlement was perceived to be the most important move towards his definitive objective of annulling Article 9. Other than his craving for a more free international strategy, Kishi needed to lay out close financial relations with the different territories of Southeast Asia. At long last, Kishi maintained that the partners should drive the leftover sentences of the Class B Class C conflict hoodlums still in carrying out their jail punishments, contending that for Japan to assume its part in the virus battle as a Western partner required overlooking Japan's atrocities previously. In quest for the EDF, Kishi visited India, Pakistan, Burma, Thailand, Ceylon, and Taiwan in May 1957, requesting the pioneers from those states to join the EDF, yet except for Taiwan, which consented to join, different countries offered dubious responses. 
In November, Kishibai and Bai visited Southeast Asia to advance the possibility of an EDF, this time visiting South Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, Australia, and New Zealand. These nations, all of which Japan had gone after or potentially involved during the Second Great War, additionally communicated vacillation or scorn toward joining the proposed system, with the sole special case of Laos, which needed unfamiliar guide around then. Indeed, even in nations that were not involved by Japan like India, Ceylon, and Pakistan, Kishi experienced deterrence. Indian state leader Jawaharlal Nehru told Kishi during his visit to New Delhi that he believed his country should be nonpartisan in the virus war, and considering that Japan was associated to the US, joining the ADF would be active adjusting India to the Americans. During his visit to Karachi, the Pakistani state leader Husn Shade Surawadi let Kishi know that he considered himself a individual instead of an Asian first, and favored reciprocal over multilateral guide on the grounds that a multilateral guide structure would place partaking nations into rivalry with one another over help conveyance. In aggregate, terrible recollections of Japan's wartime plunders in the locale, a doubt of Japanese thought processes, a reluctance to go into neo-pilgrim relationship with Japan as providers of natural substances, cold conflict neutralism, and a trepidation that America was furtively calling the shots generally added to the disappointment of Kishi's aggressive designs to make an Asian monetary bloc suggestive of more prominent East Asian company success circle that Japan had professed to be seeking. After in universal conflict e ultimately, even the US was tepid about Kishi's undertaking, so it was racked until further notice, despite the fact that it was later to some degree restored as the Asian Improvement Bank. Thank you.